So in 2011, I wanted to make a little planter box so I could raise up and grow some vegetables. I had an area that got a lot of sun in my backyard and I thought it would be a fun experiment trying, you know, maybe some um, cucumbers and some tomatoes. And I figured that would be my, my way of saving money and uh, having fresh fruits and vegetables and it worked pretty well everything kind of grew well I had uh, I did not the cherry tomatoes but I did grape tomatoes and I had tons of them um, and it was kind of fun I mean I maintained it but it was a lot of work I mean for what it is you know if you're into gardening that's great I, I kind of enjoyed it for the year and two that I did it but I actually made a discovery that you know right around the corner was one of the largest regional farmers markets in all of New York and I can get there in about five minutes so what I found myself doing is heading down to the regional market with five bucks in my pocket and coming back with more fresh fruits and vegetables um, you know I go at six in the morning I'm a home by seven you know it's like really early get it done boom and I found myself buying lots of fruits and vegetables at a fraction of what it would be at the supermarket and thinking to myself, hmm, why am I going through all this time and energy and effort to, uh, to grow the vegetables and the fruit and to build the box and to fertilize it and to water it? Or I could just run up the street and five minutes later be back with more than I could ever imagine and stuff that I didn't grow. So for me, it was easier just to kind of do away with it all together. So I stopped uh, gardening, let that stuff grow in. That's the reason why I don't do my little box garden anymore. It's just cheaper to go to the uh, farmer's market and pick up the stuff right there. So, thanks for watching. This is Chris Demetric from TDW, and we will see you next week, and see you on the flip side.